Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. If you've ever had that nasty DHCP error when you try to install an Oracle database, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to resolve that error. First of all, you need to understand that if you have that DHCP error, it simply means that you don't have a static IP address for your machine. So we can simulate a static IP address. The first thing I want you to do is go into your control panel and we're going to add hardware. I know this sounds kind of strange because we're not really adding hardware. We're going to go through this wizard and add software, which is our loopback adapter. Now when you get to this screen, go ahead and say, yes, I have already connected to the hardware and click next. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see add a new hardware device and hit next. The next step is to choose the second option, install the hardware that I manually select from a list and hit next. Now we're going to scroll down until we see network adapters and hit next. Now you'll see under manufacturer Microsoft and then choose the Microsoft loopback adapter and then hit next. Hit next again. It's going to copy some files here. This might take a minute or so. And now you can hit finish. So at this point, once again in your control panel, you can double click on your network connections and you should see that loopback adapter in here. We're looking here under the device name and there it is. So let's click on this, right click on it, let's go to properties. On this screen you're going to scroll down until you see the internet protocol and then hit properties. Let's use the following IP address. I like to hard code this with 10, 10, 10, 10. So essentially we're simulating a static IP address. For the subnet mask, I want you to say 255, 255, 255, 0. You can leave everything else the same. Let's hit OK and then close. Now the other thing that you need to do is go into your Etsy hosts file and update that information. I'll go ahead and close this window right here. Go ahead and open up your Windows Explorer and I want to navigate to your main drive and then Windows System 32. Once you're there, you should see a directory called Drivers. Double click on that. Under there you'll see a folder called Etsy. Double click on there. And then there you'll see a file called Hosts. Let's right click on it and we can open it up with your favorite text editor. And you'll see here that I already have a setting for 127.001. I'm going to now put an entry in here for 10, 10, 10, 10. And then I'll put in here localhost. Save that and now you can close it. Now, according to Oracle's documentation, you're going to have to reboot your machine for that to take effect. From my experience, I haven't had to reboot it, but if you have issues, go ahead and reboot your machine. Now you're configured without using DHCP. You're now using a simulated static IP address. Thank you for watching. I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Come visit us at www.fireboxtraining.com.